Spartacus the Jack Russell and his younger brother Crixus were deep space EDM-loving pirate miners, exploring the vast expanse of the cosmos in their spaceship, the Jackerkinezer. Diggers, as the long-extinct human race used to call them, Jack Russells were known for their keen sense of smell and digging ability. Bred for space mining, these jacks could mine the rarest of elements, worth literally trillions of dollars. As they flew through the triple star system, Alpha Centauri, searching for a system they could mine, they picked up a strange distress signal on their main navigation computer. The AI system said it was a remote, special creator beacon, coming from a star system more than four light years away. The two dogs knew they had to investigate this mysterious signal, but they also knew they would need to prepare for the long journey ahead. Spartacus, the veteran pilot of the Jackerkinezer, decided they should fly to an off-world colony about half a light year away to refuel and restock their supplies. The Jackerkinezer was a state-of-the-art deep space spacecraft, built for exploring and mining the far reaches of the cosmos. It was a massive vessel, with a sleek and aerodynamic design that allowed it to navigate through the vacuum of space with ease. The exterior of the ship was reinforced with a durable metal alloy that could withstand the harsh conditions of deep space, including high speeds and extreme temperatures. The interior of the Jackerkinezer was equally impressive, with advanced technology and systems that allowed the ship to function in almost any environment. There were several decks and compartments, including a spacious cargo hold, a control room with advanced navigation and communication systems, and living quarters for the crew. The Jackerkinezer was also equipped with a range of powerful engines and thrusters, which allowed it to reach incredible speeds and perform advanced maneuvers. It had a built-in cloaking device that could make it invisible to most sensors and a powerful shield that could deflect incoming attacks. In addition to its impressive capabilities as a spacecraft, the Jackerkinezer had advanced mining and prospecting equipment, including powerful drills and scanners that could detect valuable minerals and resources on distant planets and asteroids. Overall, the Jackerkinezer was a formidable spacecraft, capable of exploring and mining the farthest reaches of space and landing on faraway worlds with the harshest atmospheres. It was a symbol of the ingenuity and determination of its canine crew, Spartacus and Crixus, who were always ready to take on any challenge the cosmos had to offer. So, the two space canines set course for the colony, flying through the vast emptiness of space. As they journeyed, Spartacus and Crixus marveled at the wonders of the cosmos, from swirling galaxies and bright nebulae to glowing comets and shimmering asteroids. They even used a black hole to conserve space-time in their journey a black hole which they bravely navigated through using the Jackerkinezer's advanced technology. As Spartacus and Crixus flew the Jackerkinezer towards the event horizon of the black hole, they knew they were taking a risk. The black hole was a massive, swirling vortex of gravity, capable of pulling in anything that strayed too close. But Spartacus, the veteran pilot, was confident in his ability to navigate the Jackerkinezer through the black hole's dangerous maw. As they flew closer to the event horizon, they could feel the ship being pulled towards the black hole with increasing force. The gravitational pull was so strong that it felt like they were being sucked into a giant vacuum cleaner. They knew they had to act fast if they wanted to escape. Spartacus expertly maneuvered the Jackerkinezer through the black hole's circumference, using the ship's powerful thrusters to keep them from being pulled in too deeply. As they flew through the swirling maw of the black hole, they were hit with a wave of intense gravitational force that threatened to rip the ship apart. Despite the dangers, Spartacus and Crixus held on tight, trusting in their skills and the strength of the Jackerkinezer. As they flew deeper into the black hole, they felt themselves being pulled towards its center at incredible speeds. It was as if they were falling into a deep, dark pit, with no way out. But just when they thought they were doomed, they were suddenly spat out the other side of the black hole, emerging into the bright, multicolored light of a beautiful quasar. The Jackerkinezer shook and shuddered as it flew through the swirling energy of the quasar, but Spartacus and Crixus managed to keep the ship on course. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, they emerged from the quasar and landed safely on the other side of the black hole, exactly 0.5 light-years from when they first got the signal. 
They had made it through one of the most dangerous and unpredictable regions of space, and they were alive to tell the tale. As they flew on, they were awestruck by the sight of a brilliant blue supernova, the explosion of a dying star that lit up the darkness with a dazzling display of light and energy. As Spartacus and Crixus piloted the Jackarkinezer through the vast expanse of space, they encountered a wide variety of amazing and exotic locations. One of the most memorable was an off-world colony on a blue cyan world of ice mountains. The world was a breathtaking sight to behold, with towering peaks of icy blue that stretched up towards the stars. The Jackarkinezer flew low over the frozen landscape, passing over fields of shimmering snow and ice that seemed to stretch on forever. As they approached the colony, they saw a small village nestled at the base of the mountains, surrounded by a network of metal and glass buildings. The colony was a hub of activity, with spaceships coming and going and people bustling about their business. Spartacus and Crixus decided to land the Jackarkinezer in the center of the village and stepped out into the crisp, cold air. They were immediately struck by the beauty of their surroundings, with the towering peaks of ice and the sparkling snow that covered the ground. Just outside their spaceship, they were greeted by a group of friendly alien inhabitants, who resembled small humanoid monkey bears, were happy to see the two dogs and invited them to explore their village.